Hi, I'm Hummy from Hummy's World, and this is a little promo video to let you know about the Blending Mode class and what to expect. It is currently January 2014, and we're getting ready to launch this in February of 2014, but um, you can begin this class at any time. It is self-paced and just uh, join the class and work uh, through it from beginning to end. So you can go ahead and sign up now at any time. You sign up in the forum. It is totally free. Um, you can even lurk and do them on your own because everything is right on the guides including uh, the downloads and the videos. There's going to be 40 video lessons and 40 texture downloads and so and everything is totally free but um, the currently how it works now I change the you know the site often uh, as to keep up with the times as things change but um, currently there are two options for you to get into the subscriber area you can pay a nominal fee of 550 a month or there are some other options um, because I appreciate all those who uh, pay uh, to support site costs to keep this site alive and uh, to keep the forum up and running. If you want, you can just use loyalty points to access uh, the subscriber area for, to for free. Loyalty points are um, earned just by posting in the forum. Uh, showing that you're loyal to the forum and that you want to make, help make it active and fun for other people to uh, visit. And um, so you can pay for it that way just by being loyal to the site. If you come and post in the welcome area, um, there are other people at Hummies World that have more points than they know what to do with and they can donate them to you to get you started. So you can uh, get in um, right away and um, plus it's just fun to donate <laughs> we love giving and and uh, it, it's just fun you know it's just fun to give so we would love to give you some points to get you started totally free um, there's other options you know uh, for supporting the site such as buying something in the store um, or um, you know sharing with other people or liking my YouTube videos uh, as I might earn a little revenue that way uh, so we don't I don't judge who pays and who doesn't and I just leave that all up to you if you totally cannot afford it I understand there are people like that and um, you can do this totally free and as I said you can even do it um, as a lurker but I really want you to sign up in the forum and show me your work because that makes it fun for me and it makes it fun for um, all the other students so past that blabbering non fun part let's get into the inside story of what's going on with this lesson uh, with this class uh, it's going to focus on one blending mode in each lesson and we're going to go from top to bottom so we're not going to do the normal because that's just normal but um, we're going to start at, with the dissolve and work our way all the way down to the very last one and you're going to be challenged to create an image with your photos only with only the texture download and using only the blending mode for that lesson. So your assignments in the first set of lessons uh, only are going to be to use only the texture I give you and only the blending mode I give you for that lesson. Um, that's what I've also done in the video. This is the reason for this it's going to keep give it's going to make you think outside the box to utilize one texture and only one blending mode to learn about that blending mode the best way to learn about it is to make yourself use it and to think outside the box so when you're done making your image 
Um, you're going to, hopefully, you don't have to do any of this. Um, you know, sometimes rules are meant to be broken, and if you're not comfortable, uh, you're not as techie, don't be scared. I'm not going to zap you. But if you are able, get a screenshot of your layers palette. I'm in Windows, and there's something called a snipping tool, and you can just quickly grab that and um, share the recipe for your image that you made. Uh, you share the screenshot, and then you write it out and say, you know, I did this, I applied this texture number or whatever, and I applied, you know, uh, this blending mode, and I uh, used a mask to mask out this part of my image because, so you're going to be sharing your recipe, how you uh, arrived, uh, went from your before to your after, and um, of course, I'm going to be sharing my recipe by totally deconstructing and reconstructing my images right in the videos. And so you can pick up tips and techniques that way. So you're going to see what other students do with the same tools, the texture and blending mode, to learn even more. So um, that this class is only going to be awesome if you participate, if people participate. Um, I can't do it. I can't make it awesome by myself. It gets even more awesome each time the students also share what they did because we learn from each other. And then you might go, oh, hey, I like what she did, and you want to go try it on your own image. Or you like what uh, effect she got with it on a dark image, and you played with the light image. So uh, that's the inside story about what we're doing on the first set of video lessons. After we go through each blending mode, we have the ending story. Then we're going to change it up. So after focusing on each blending mode and being restricted to only one texture, the real playing begins. The lessons will focus on techniques that it's going to change to combine um, with blending modes to branch out your skill level. So uh, after we go through it, your restrictions are going to be lifted and we're going to start technique videos and you're going to be allowed to go back and use any of the textures you've downloaded and we use multiple textures and um, you know, uh, let the real play begin. <laughs> and um, this is where uh, it's going to be important that you only use the textures uh, I've shared. That way, when you're sharing what you've done, uh, others can learn from it and go get the same exact textures to go do the same exact same thing you did. Uh, so we do want you to still restrict you to use only the textures you've downloaded at our site, uh, but you can you have freedom to do more. Um, lessons in the second half or second part, there's not quite as many on the second part, will include combining textures, uh, dreamy photos, dramatic photos with black, with magic black. Oh, that's one of my, I got to turn off my phone so it doesn't bleep at us anymore. Uh, <laughs> dramatic photos with magic black. That's one of my favorite lessons. Oh man, I love making dramatic photos. Uh, soft photos. I love making soft photos too. Retro photos using lighting effects, uh, using brushes, gradient maps, bokeh, postcard photos, filters, creating your own textures and more because I couldn't list them all. This just gives you a little idea of some of the things that after we make ourselves do the ones we don't want to do, we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. So stick with me through the first part and we can get to the fun second part. What will you learn? Um, you'll learn how to understand how each blending mode works. Uh, that's going to come in the first section. Um, 
I'm going to show you how to understand the math. No, we're not going to be doing a lot of math. We'll do a little bit, but most of the time I'll just give you the formula so you understand what the blending mode is doing behind the scenes inside the program. Hands-on learning, that's the best way to learn. I'm going to, as I said, restrict you, make you work with that texture, and, and actually make you come up with something that's cool uh, to share. Um, I'm going to help you understand the categories of the blending modes and what each category means. Uh, you, you're going to be able to pick up tips and techniques by people are tweeting me. I sorry about that in the corner. <laughs> uh, you're going to be able to pick up tips and techniques to uh, by watching my videos and watching me uh, go from uh, nothing, from a very basic, not even uh, levels changed image to a wow image, and uh, the fun little things I do with them. So they're going to be deconstructed and reconstructed. Uh, you're going to learn how to convey a message through art. A lot of the times in the videos I talk about this is the message I'm trying to convey and why I put the light here or why I did this or that um, to kind of help you, encourage you to try to convey a message to the people looking at your images. Um, ideas and inspiration for your own photos. Uh, you, you'll pick up that um, not only from me but from the uh, other students and uh, maybe you might learn more about your program. I say maybe because maybe you're really good at your program and you know all these program tools in uh, Photoshop and Photoshop Elements but maybe I will be making you use a tool you never used or maybe I'll be making you use it in a way you never thought to use it before. Uh, your assignments, um, edit your own image and share it, including a screenshot of your layers palette and recipe. So that's what each of the assignments are going to be. We've already kind of talked about that. The uh, recap, sort of. The first lessons must use the same texture and blending mode so everyone can learn from each other. Then the next lessons give you freedom to use any texture combination provided in the class along with the technique for that lesson. And you do have some choices for your assignments. You can just edit and share an image only. If you just want to take your image and you don't even want to resize it, you want to take it straight from the camera and just apply textures to it, um, you can do that. Or, um, this is what I did with all of mine, you can add a quote or text to the image. I love doing these, making these little quote images and sharing them on the internet. Kind of one of my passions, kind of one of uh, my ways of uh, getting a message across through my art. So that's what I'm doing with each one of them and you can do that too, most certainly. Or you can take it further and use the photo in a layout. So if you want to use these textures in a layout, because we have a lot of digital scrapbookers in at Hummies World, you can do that. And I might even come back later uh, and uh, do that myself a little bit. So, or anything else you can imagine that you want to do with these, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Watch me work. You're going to get to watch me deconstruct and reconstruct each of my own images from camera to fab fun. And you're going to pick up tips to use in your own images. And here's some sneak peeks of a few of the lessons. I'm not telling you what blending modes are on here, uh, but just some befores and some afters. So there's my feet to the, totally without um any texture and there is one of the blending modes applied with some text and here is a photo I took of the Nepali coast in Hawaii and there is my image you can definitely see the cool texture you're going to be getting on that image um, here's just a plain old piece of material I took a photo with and how I took a very, very, this lesson is interesting one, how I took a very, very difficult blending mode and made this beautiful image with it. 
Um, here is just a picture. I've forgotten now where that is. I, I don't remember where I took that picture from at. But anyway, and um, another difficult blending mode and how I used it. So it's not over the whole photo. I, I ended up using that one in an artistic way. Here is one that I took a picture of some fall leaves and um, I share with you how to really soften it up and make it just a totally different feel to that image. And this is a rainbow. It's actually a double rainbow. Uh, there's a, a rainbow here and there's a rainbow there, but my camera didn't catch it very well. But look at this image. I took it from this to this and um, totally, totally different from the image. This is probably one of my favorites, and this is actually the magic black lesson. <laughs> so you see my original image and what magic black does for it. Oh, isn't that yummy? Oh, we're going to be doing all sorts of yummy things. Uh, here's another one where I use some lighting effects to put a haze over it and to kind of soften it. Um, here's another one uh, that totally softened uh, the original photo. Here's another one, my original image on the left and my finished image on the right. So join us. That's just a few of uh, the sneak peeks of what's coming up because I've got 40 of those for you. But join us and sign up at Hummies World at any time and work at your own pace. Initially here in February 2014, the lessons will be posted every few days as we work at the same pace. However, if you come along a few days later, if you come along a few weeks later, months, a year later, two years, three years, we can keep going. Just jump in at the beginning and work through in order. Just come sign up in the forum, uh, post in the registration uh, credit slash credit thread uh, that you want to start the class and just start going at it. And uh, start from beginning uh, to end and see what others have done before you in the thread. And um, share your own work and uh, we'll still be hanging around and be seeing what you do and come comment on your work. There's always a right time to come join this class. So I will see you in the forum and on the class and I'm really looking excited. I'm really looking excited. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you could see my face now, <laughs> that was a blooper. I'm really excited and looking forward to uh, this class because I know it's going to be a lot of fun and just, oh, everybody loves to play and we're going to play. So come play with me.